welcome to Movies and Munchies. I'm Lauren Craig. And I'm Biliana Reyes. And today we're reviewing The United States vs. Billie Holiday. This movie is about the iconic Billie Holiday. It is set in the 1940s. She was a controversial singer who made a song called Strange Fruit, which is what launched her career and her fame. The song is about the lynching of black men. My song, Strange Fruit, it reminds them that they're killing us. The government didn't like that she was singing the song because it was causing a lot of controversy because people were getting away with lynching black people. It's about the man trying to take her down. Yeah, it's a song about important things, you know, things that are going on in the country. And for our munchies, we are gonna try Nature's Bakery Fig Bar. I got this at Whole Foods. I usually eat like the Newton figs and they're pretty good. And I was like, maybe this would be good. It's all um, blueberry flavor. There's like no high fructose. No corn syrup, plant-based, and of course, like no dairy. And it's nut-free, vegan, and kosher. Nice. Are you ready to try it? Yeah. It keeps in this little blueberry box. It is. The packaging reminds me of Cliff Bars. Yeah, it does. Oh yeah, so it's a two-pack. So, they look like this. They look like Newton's. Look like Newton's. Yeah. It smells blueberry-ish. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. I like these. These are good. They're like new, new. Newton bars. Yeah. <laughs> but I feel like Newton bars have high fructose. Oh yeah, they're definitely like a kid's go-to. This is an adult Newton. A 2021 Newton. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just as good. Maybe even better. I'm not really a fig person either. But Newton's and this is the furthest I would go with mm. figs. But have you ever had a fresh fig? No. What are they? They're kind of like lychee, right? They kind of look like prunes. Mm. <laughs> what would you rate them? I like these a lot. Mm -hmm. I just ate the whole thing. And I'm not usually like a Fig Newton bar mm. person, or I guess a Fig bar person. Like they're okay to me, but these are really, really good. I guess I would give these a four. A four? Because I really like it, but it's not like my favorite thing in the whole world. Mm. I would give this a five. I freaking love these. And I know they have different flavors. They have like mm. raspberry and I think like apple. Nice. Yeah, but I, I'm a blueberry person. I love the texture. It's so like soft. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> just like. So what did you think about this movie? I was very intrigued with this movie because first of all, I don't know who Billie Holiday is at all. And then being educated through this movie, I was like, <gasps> <gasps> So I really enjoyed watching it. Like it wasn't boring at all. It was yeah. always like a twist or turn. I remember my mom actually told me about this movie. She's mm -hmm. like, oh, they're making a movie about Billie Holiday on Hulu. I love me. We love you. And I was like, who's that? She was like, oh, like look her up. She's a famous singer. Mm -hmm. So then I saw like a billboard for it. And I was like, oh, that's the one my mom was telling mm -hmm. me about. I remembered it and I like looked it up and I watched a trailer and I was like, Ooh, this looks good. But I didn't watch the whole trailer. I actually don't like watching trailers to movies because I like to be oh, completely- Oh, because sometimes they like put the whole story yeah. in the trailer, yeah. So I like to be like a little more surprised about mm -hmm. what's gonna happen. But I watched a little bit just to see if I wanted to pick it. It looked awesome. And so I watched it and yeah, same thing. It was like, dang, this girl yeah. is going through <laughs> it. Everybody sucks. Yeah. I hate everybody. Mm -hmm. Okay, my first question for you is they started this movie and kind of throughout had a little bit of voiceover. It was at the beginning to like set up the storyline and everything. They had her like in for a radio interview. Yeah. And so they used that so it wasn't just like a straight voiceover of like, I started my journey in 19th. Yeah. You know, it was like tastefully done. So I was just gonna ask what you thought about that. How they did it was very creative. It matched the beginning and the end, like, oh, the reporter in her life. It was very cohesive throughout the film. But for general, I like it if it's justified. If they show your life before that and you don't want to use, like, talking, you're just trying to, like, get the backstory so the audience knows it faster, mm -hmm. then yeah, how about you? I think they did it good in this movie. It was nice, it was cohesive, but I don't really like excessive use of voiceover. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's kind of lazy. I understand more in films like this where it's a lot of history had a lot to cover yeah. and they did a really good job at it. So my question is, 
did you know about Billie Holiday before your mom told you? No, I didn't. Okay, no. me either. I saw the trailer to like prep me to like what I'm watching. I'm like, oh, okay, she's a singer. Right. But I didn't realize she was like an advocate with the whole Black Lives Matter and like representing the black people. It's a whole nother like level of commitment and yeah, history. Definitely. When my mom just said, oh, it's a movie about a singer, I was assuming maybe the 70s or 80s. Mm -hmm. And so when I first started watching, I was like, oh, this is back in the yeah. day. Like she's the OG. OG musicians. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I really enjoyed learning about her life and her legacy. So this girl had a rough life. Like, yeah, she was famous. Everyone knew who she was, but she had an abusive husband. Oh, she yes. had been married before to like just terrible people. Her mom was awful to her and she got ripped at t 10 or 12 yeah. and she just like doesn't know what love is. She's on a drug addict yeah. and all these people keep betraying her. What was the most heartbreaking part of her story for you? When she got caught from the drug abuse and then was clean for the whole time she was in prison. She's like, yeah, I'm gonna get better and everything. And then not even like four or five months after she's like back doing drugs. They won't let me sing nowhere, no clubs, no money, no nothing. So talking about drug addiction, especially with Billy, she has like a core group of friends. Do you think that those friends, knowing that she is a singer, a performer, should have at least try and help her out to kick her a drug addiction? I understand it's also because they're also hired. One friend did try to mm -hmm. stop her. She was like, I'll, I'll get it anyway. Yeah. As far as her other friends, I mean, they were all users too. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that it was just enabling each other. She's a rock star and yeah. she puts on this front of badass and doesn't care what anyone thinks about her and she's gonna do what she wants. So I understand like why no one tried to help her because it wasn't like she was asking for help. Jimmy is like the one guy who really loves her who ends up being like her boyfriend, lover, whatever you want to call it. And he shows up initially as a fan. Like he keeps showing up at her concert with flowers, finally gets backstage to talk to her and then bam, you find out he's a fed uh -oh. and he like busts her and gets her arrested yeah. and sent to jail. Were you expecting him to be a fed? No, I didn't think he was. And then when he did like catch her, I was like, seriously? The betrayal. Yeah, like she let him into her life and he just like smacked the crap out of her and was like, now you gotta go to jail. Yeah. Rude. Yeah, rude. <laughs> It was so messed up because they had like a connection and you're like, oh, I like this. And then it was like, oh, really? Yeah. The second part to that question is, were you thinking that he was still trying to bust her again? Because his boss was saying, oh yeah, like get back in good mm -hmm. with her. We'll bust her again. No, I think he felt guilty from the first time because he saw like the second time they were in their relationship, it was like a lot more intimate. They were having waffles mm -hmm. and like she looked a lot more healthier. I mean, she was still taking drugs, yeah. but <laughs> not a shitload of drugs. Right. And so I was like, like, oh, like maybe he just felt guilty. So after the second one, but okay. it would be fucked up if he did. I'm like, oh my no, gosh. no more after that. <laughs> Please, I can't take it. <laughs> so the federal agent is like, I guess backstage, everyone's taking opium, like shooting up with heroin. Billy's like, well, if you're with us, you're with us. So you have to like take it. And he ends up taking it. And then they do this whole crazy dynamic scene of her when she was little and why she acts this way. Yes. I thought that scene was pretty like awesome to do that whole transition right. from taking it to doing a flashback to yeah. seeing how Billy lived and then going back into present. Mm -hmm. Did you feel the same way with that scene? Yeah, that was an amazing way to give yeah. context and character depth. Grew up way too fast, mm -hmm. was seeing things she shouldn't have seen. Her mom basically, like, at Told 10 Told her she had old, to be a prostitute. Yes, at 10! Mm -hmm. And then was also like, you need to get out of here. This girl's literally never known love. But I thought, wow, what a great way to show that artistically, like, I'm high this is where my mind goes, yeah. maybe when I'm high. Mm -hmm. Like my director head is always like, that's a great way to shoot something. And then I like always write it down, like I'm gonna do that in my next yeah. film. <laughs> nice. I love it. <laughs>Okay, so what would you rate this movie? Oh, this was a really good movie. I think I'll actually rate it a five. I liked it because I didn't know who she was. And then once I found out who she was, I was like, oh damn, this girl's been through crap. Because it's kind of like a documentary also of like how yeah. she was raised and everything. And I'm like, she's been through so much hardship. And she's a singer and she's successful. And the feds are trying to get her for a song yeah. that is like, totally legitimate for her to sing. Yes. <laughs> Just like all that was like, 
this is a five. Yeah. Uh, you picked a really good one this week. Thank you. Yeah. Um, yeah, I would rate this a five also. Yeah! Because it was an amazing movie. Everything about it I loved. Acting, amazing. Yeah. Storyline, amazing. Writing, amazing. Uh, cinematography, amazing. Wardrobe, yep. freaking amazing. <laughs> I love the wardrobe. Her makeup was pretty on point, too. Like, yeah. Like, we watched Maws, and I was like, I'm not having this. Yes. And in this one, I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm having this. Yeah. <laughs> Everything. The dresses. Yes. My favorite one was the yellow dress. Ooh. She had, like, a bunch of, like, really, like, slim. Yes. A mermaid oh style. I'm like, man, if we could dress like that. Just for a little bit, yes. like a whole week, I'll be happy. I love it. And like even her like going out clothes are like super yes. fabulous. And I was like, oh my gosh, this girl, like I would want to be her friend. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for watching Movies and Munchies. Make sure you go to Netflix. Nope. Thank you for watching <laughs> Movies and Munchies. Make sure you go to Hulu to watch the United States versus Billy Holiday. Yes. And if you feel like you want to try some fig bars, go to your nearest Whole Foods and grab Nature's Bakery's Fig Bar Blueberry. They're really good. We rated them pretty high, so you be the judge of the next one. Yes. Okay. Bye! <laughs>